what's just this spring in general been like for you now that you're getting a lot of reps moving in trying to fight for a spot uh with the ones uh it's been it's been uh, long to me it feels like just because this is my real first real spring like last year was COVID when I was coming in so I didn't get to really experience it but now I see like how fast the game really is and how important it is to be consistent. John Hale. I tell you this, ever since you all signed, basically, there's been so much hype about your group of linemen who signed in that class last year. How do you all avoid getting caught up in that and just focusing on the like fundamental stuff that the coaches keep preaching? I feel like just like you said at the end there, uh, our coaches keep us real humble, just coming in every day and just, they always just uh, harp on us, just uh, staying down to earth and making plays and just staying out there and staying in our playbook. So keep us real down to earth, even though we get a lot of hype in the media and stuff like that. But we know as a group we're going to be great, so we just try to keep it within us. Lonnie? Okay, this, um, seemingly uh, there's been some several guys on the staff to change the weight up and down, whatever. Uh, have you changed your weight? Down and back, you know, have you fluctuated up and down trying to get your body the way you want it to be uh, since you've been here? Uh, yes, sir. I actually have. I came in about 315. I wanted to like 320, and I got back down to 310. Now I'm sitting about 295, and I'm loving that 295, so I think I'm going to stay right here. You're 295 right now? Yes, sir. Thank you. Dick Gabriel. Okay, you guys lost some really talented veterans off last year's. Elon, I know everybody's looking for an opportunity for more playing time, but could you talk a little bit about what it's going to be like going out there and, and needing to pick up where those guys left off? I feel like it's very important that we uh, pick up where they left off. Uh, even last year, our coaches harped on us that um, when they put the twos in, the twos had to look just like the ones. So it's like we're not going up and down. Like They should be able to trust all of us the same way. So I feel like we, we're picking it up pretty good here. Larry Bott. Yeah, I think I was wondering, is there any player that's really been a big help to you during your year at UK now? Uh, I say Josh Pascal. Uh, ever since I came in, I kind of just followed behind him because I seen him as a real leader and somebody that does everything right all the time. So, and that's who I want to be. So, I feel like he's helped me a lot, just technique wise, life wise, uh, all that, like just life, honestly. Well, I know you're a high school coach. I always talk about such a hard worker that you were. Is that something that Josh has made you take up even another level then? Yes, sir. It most it most definitely is. Working out with him is like working out with a machine. He just, he never gets tired. So when I'm when I'm over there wheezing, he's still going. So it's definitely it's definitely hard working out with him. Thank you, Nick. There's there's all when we talk about the defensive line. There's a lot of things, whether it's hand placement. Uh, leverage. There's a lot of different little fundamental parts of the game that you have to focus on to, to, to be consistent. What's what's the toughest part about doing that at that, that three tech spot? Uh, I say the toughest thing is just uh, for me right now it's probably just my eyes. I want to be consistent, more consistent with my eyes. So our coach always tells us, Coach Stu always tells us that our eyes is our power. Like wherever our eyes is at is where we're gonna go and where we're gonna be at. So I feel like with eyes, that's like that's the first step to us for us. I'm assuming that's, that can be more difficult when the offense is doing a bunch of stuff for oh, yeah. cars and you get caught up in it more than, than maybe previously. Oh, yes, sir. I, I feel like, especially with our new offense <clears throat> and Coach Liam coming in and making some huge impacts, um, a lot of movement up front is, is, is really different. It's, it's, uh, it gets really hard out there with just so much stuff moving in front of your face, you got to stay locked in on your key. Josh Moore. Hey, Octavius, I, I'm curious about just with your, your being a freshman in last year, it is, it's always hard to be a freshman on campus, but I, I imagine this year was even more difficult. What, what was that like going through the last year, and, and how did it, you know, were there maybe any advantages to it, you know, it being kind of a, a weird, weird situation? As far as uh, campus, I say it, it kind of was more difficult just with classes and stuff like that. Um, when I first got here, too much COVID, so. I was still going to class and stuff like that, so I got to see the transaction actually from going to classes, being on campus, interacting with people to being on Zoom calls all day. And I feel for me, it, Zoom calls are always uh, more difficult because you're not actually in person with the teacher and stuff like that. Just how ready are you for you know a normal year on campus to to you know really be in the thick of this? Hopefully? 
ready for it, actually. I feel like that's going to bring us all back together as a whole, especially as a university. John Hale. Terry's, I think now there are five guys from North on the roster this spring. Uh, I'm curious just what is that connection for you all like? Have you been taking Lavelle and Jordan maybe under your wing a little bit as they're going through what you wore last year? Uh, yes, sir. I feel like it's amazing having all those guys from my high school up here. Um, it's just great. Uh, like Jordan told us the other day during the scrimmage, he was at safety and he seen me, uh, Darren Green, and uh, him in there. And he said it reminded him just like high school because that's exactly how it looked. But it's just amazing having a couple guys from your hometown being up here and being able to bring them along with you. Larry Vaughn. I just to kind of follow up on that. Just the number of players in state and the and the way the talent seems to be increasing coming to Kentucky. How, how proud are you to be part of that in this state now? I'm very proud of it. Actually, I feel, I'm very proud I picked this school. Um, it's just, honestly, just it was just something that we always seen. And in high school, we never really imagined all of us coming to this school. And even talking to some of the other recruits, recruits from Kentucky, like John Young and Jagger, we never really thought about all coming to Kentucky. It was just something that happened. And, it's just a blessing we're all here. Thank you. John Wong. Okay, just we hear so much about pride on both sides of the line. And with Coach Liam coming in and bringing his newfangled offense, how much extra energy and effort and emotion have you guys experienced on the defensive front and trying to shut those guys down? Oh, yeah. It's definitely a lot of energy every day coming from Josh and Marquand McCall. Just the whole whole room, actually. Just everybody comes in with energy because we know if we don't, they're going to hit us in our mouth first. And it's just something that – it's just so competitive, so it makes you love the game more, just coming in every day knowing that you got to go 110% or you're not going to win that day. And that's also a mighty fine-looking beard there. <laughs> How difficult is that to maintain, and is that something we're going to continue to see throughout the <laughs> It's definitely something you'll continue to see, but uh, it's not that hard to maintain. It just, it actually just came. I don't know where it came from. It just started growing, so I just let it grow out. Lonnie? Yes, I'll take just one more question for you. Um, coming back to North Harden connection and what have you, uh, uh, Coach Liam highlighted uh, the play of Lavelle Wright and how, I mean, uh, Lavelle, yeah, that's right, and how, how fast he's come along and, uh, and what have you. Uh, what does it feel like uh, going against him now in practice? Uh, you know, at, at, at Kentucky, uh, and, uh, and and what do you see from him? Uh, this is the, the, the coach Cohen is seeing. I see that he's came a long way, actually. Um, in high school, he was always that competitor, hard worker. Um, but when he got here, I think he just upped the, another notch and just came, attack, came in and attacked it because, as everybody knows, we have a lot of backs. So he just came in and wanted to work hard and be a part of that legacy people have uh, been started for us, actually. Um, I feel like he really took that to heart. He just wants to be a great back here. And it's crazy going against him in practice because it's just like a high school, like making plays on him and he making plays on us. It's just crazy seeing him out there. Jeff Drummond. Yeah, Octavius, we've heard a lot about the outside zone running game that, that the offense is using more of and the best team this year. And I'm wondering what kind of the challenges are for you guys on, on the defensive side of the ball and how that's helped you get better. I feel like it's made us um, make huge steps. And I feel like it'll, you uh, a lot of our fans will see it during the season, just as we will go against a lot of teams that run outside zone. Just so, like, I feel like our offense is giving us a good look. And uh, one of the hardest things for us as a defensive line I feel like it goes back to our, our eyes, like just having our eyes in the right place because outside zone can go pretty fast for us coming off the ball. So we've got to have our eyes on our key. Okay, Octavius, thank you for your time. Uh, guys, we're finished for the day.